All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what is happening at this moment in West Asia, we're being joined by Mr. Hano Kling, who's a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for East Asia from Warsaw. He's, of course, joining us in this broadcast. Mr. Kling, this is a pretty delicate moment that we're witnessing in West Asia. I want you to weigh in on this address that was given earlier this afternoon by Atal Ali Khamenei. What do you think was the message that was given to him to the West? Well, I think the primary audience for the Supreme Leader's comments was actually a domestic audience, the Iranian people. Um, and to further this Iranian narrative that uh, the Islamic Republic is strong, it possesses great military um, advantages vis-a-vis -vis Israel and the West, and that uh, it can strike uh, at Israel at will. The reality, of course, is that whereas Iranian military capabilities should not be discounted, the last two strikes uh, by Iran have had really minimal uh, damage in Israel. And, and that's a good thing, obviously. And it, that's a combination of Israel's um, very good air defense system, multi-tiered air defense system. Mm -hmm. It's also a reflection of American assistance. And, and this is something that does not get a lot of attention, is the fact that if Iran launches or when Iran launches strikes, it has to fly through the airspace of several countries, all of which, of course, are Muslim countries, and many of which are, have been intercepting those missiles. So again, I think Khamenei uh, ha has to try to convey a position of strength, uh, although overarchingly, right. Iran, the weaker of the two parties. And also this moment, you know, uh, there's a lot of talk within the United States of America about the Iranian nuclear program. Considering that neither side is willing to back down the conflict, which seems to be escalating more and more. Do you think this will now nudge the Iranians to actually get a nuclear weapon as soon as possible now? Well, it will certainly add, you know, fuel to the fire. Uh, perhaps a poor choice of a metaphor, but yes, I think that uh, when you have a conflict such as this, uh, Iran may in fact see additional justification to pursuing this nuclear option. I would argue, though, that Israel will not allow that to happen. Uh, and also, I would say that depending on who wins the presidential election in the United States in November, right. uh, if it is uh, the Republican nominee, I do not envision a Trump administration ever allowing Iran to get that type of capability. Because we have seen time and time again uh, Iran utilizing whatever it is at its disposal to target not just Israel, but America and other Western countries. And in that context, you know, I think it's worth remembering that in uh, Khamenei's speech today, in his comments today, uh, he uh, again praised the diabolical attacks on Israeli civilians of 7 October last year, saying it was completely justified and calling for more attacks such as that. So I just do not envision Israel uh, being able to live with a nuclear armed right. Iran. All right. Now, Israel has said that it will hit back at Iran for the missile attacks that it carried out three days ago. But at this moment, Israel is still mulling on the course of action to take. Joe Biden has told the Israelis that he does not support the Israelis targeting Iranian nuclear sites. What, in your assessment, do you think will be the Israeli course of action? Well, I think history has shown over the last year, and actually, well, particularly over the last year, that the Biden administration has had very, very little influence in shaping uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's actions. So President Biden you know, publicly um, tried to dissuade uh, the Israelis from attacking nuclear sites. He also publicly has spoken out against uh, potentially uh, Israel targeting uh, oil uh, refineries and oil sites within Israel. So, uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, Pre Prime Minister Netanyahu will target areas is have the idf target areas that will have both a strategic and operational effect on iran's ability to either wage war 
Right. Or perhaps to again deter Iran from taking uh, additional right. hostile actions. All right. We'll have to leave that. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Kling, for joining us and getting his dark perspective there. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.